reviewers. Well, today we're doing a book review, and um, this one is called Dr. Mind. And uh, before I get on to it and read it to you, here is the uh, book cover um, set to a photo of um, the part of the Hamilton Gardens. Um, I was going through the uh, Chinese gardens at the Hamilton Gardens. And so, here we go. Here's the book review. The title is Dr. Mind, and the author is Birbuk Wolfi. The book uh, details is, uh, I read it as an e-book, and it has 118 pages. The genre is a memoir, life lessons and positivity. And here are my thoughts on what the book is about. The time before, the author starts her story. Quote, three years ago I had an ordinary life, unquote. She then explains part of her life beginning with the birth of her son and the difficulties after it, ailments and stresses she had. This by no means is a moan and groan book. This is neither an encyclopedia of diagnoses and medical in-depth words that leave you overwhelmed. This book is purely about a lady that just wanted to tell someone what she had been through and, and with that maybe we can learn from the experiences she had or maybe we can identify, identify ourselves with some issues she had. Shifting into the unknown, after going to the doctor and to be told that she has a tumour, she then goes into denial. Quote, how could this happen to me? Give me all the migraines in the world, but not a tumour, unquote. We are then led into the author's world of how she coped. The author was shunted backwards and forwards. No one knew for sure whether the tumour was malignant. This, with reading Louise Hay's books and videos and repeating affirmations from them, she started to believe within herself that she was healthy, regards of what anyone else was thinking. The time came when she saw one last doctor who through doing an ultrasound found that these tumours were harmless, although yearly checks would be needed. And then I picked three quotes out from this book that I put in the book review. And they are, the first one is, I would go with my husband to long, for long walks in the mountains and practice meditation instead of doing continuous homework. Housework, sorry. <laughs> Although I suppose it could, uh, I suppose it could adapt to homework, couldn't it? <laughs> for the young. Uh, the second quote, it was like a magician's use of agricadabra, an Amaic phrase meaning I create as I speak. And the third quote that I included in the book review, it was a moment of a tiny miracle happening to me. I managed to use my power to change reality. It was a moment when a little baby of hope was born. I didn't want further explanation. I knew exactly what had happened. I changed the course of my destiny. I created my own future with my own power. Okay, and now I'm going on to um, my, my other thoughts on this book. This is my second time reading Dr. Mind, and I'm so glad I did. One forgets the power of affirmations detouring away ne negativity, negative people and such like. 
such a powerful and uplifting book that just shows that with a positive attitude anything is possible. The author is quite a fan of Louise Hay's books that I had to look up on Book Depository to read and it's very enlightening to discover another author who believes that you can beat the odds with a powerful mind, determination, courage and hope. At the end of the book are a handful of healthy recipes you can try. And my recommendation? I highly recommend this book to anyone who has at some point in their time gone through hardship as there is an understanding that is required for this book. Anyone who admires strong-willed females, anyone with a positive attitude as what you read does determine what sort of person you are and for anyone who is in for a much healthier life as this will definitely inspire you to do just that. And again, I'll just show you the photo and the book. And yeah, you can actually find that on uh, Amazon.com. Uh, although I was given this book uh, originally from the uh, author herself. So thank you. Goodbye. Have a good day.